Hello lovely people, I'm Michal Kali Griggs from Tantra Movement, for those who don't know me yet. So today I will speak about the blue balls syndrome, pain in the testicles. It's a bit common problem in the tantric circles when uh, the men start to avoid ejaculation to gain the energy from sexuality to free himself from uh, running from desires and to have better uh, love making. He brings a lot of sexual energy to his testicles, sexual chakras, because he learned how to avoid the game over, the ejaculation of orgasm and losing the energy. Because he doesn't lose the energy, he can make love for hours. And we even encourage everybody to finish 21 day challenge, 49 day challenge, when you make love for hours basically, at least half an hour daily, and you don't lose the energy. And you don't lose at all at the end an energy you keep. Actually, you drive, you live on ecstasy, you keep this energy and carry this energy. If you avoid for many weeks and do not ejaculate, you do not release this uh, energy what uh, you uh, start to create every day for a few hours sometimes, this too much energy may create this pain in the testicles. For people who felt it because of those reasons, they know it's pain <laughs> that it's not very nice. Sometimes push you to ejaculate, even you know, like this is not the best uh, choice. And actually, if you do it again too often, then uh, it brings you back to the addiction to sex. You have dilemma, you, but you still do not want to carry this pain. It took me some time to figure out what could be the best solution. 15 years ago, there was not so much things on the internet. It's still not so many information, I would say, about that. That's why I'm making this video. But, uh, after some time, uh, I found a kind of the best, easy solution for this. And the best, easy solution for this is you stretch the scrotum. Scrotum is the back where are the testicles. And you stretch it as many years you have. This back is elastic. Stretching it to the limits should be not painful. It can be even pleasant. It's used in the lingam massage. You stretch it as many years you have every day. It's less than five minutes, but it really safe. It prevents you from having that pain. Uh, maybe now you don't have that pain, but when you will start to work with the avoiding the ejaculation, then it's a pretty common issue. So this is the easiest way. Sometimes maybe you have more ecstatic days, like you met this beautiful, fresh love, beautiful woman, and uh, you make love more than usual. If you have these more exciting days, you can notice that sometimes you may have to do double of uh, the amount, or maybe sometimes even triple of the amount. It's actually much easier to do this than having a pain and uh, being almost like forced to ejaculate and lose the energy. Maybe even get hooked back into the old habits of attachment and addiction. Now you can do it when you do shower, you can figure out the way it's, it doesn't cost you so much time at all. Actually, it's less than five minutes, so it's worth it. The other uh, solution could be the use it, don't lose it method, or if you do the other sublimation method, like microcosmic orbit from sexual down. When you do it, usually we do it to avoid the ejaculation, to bring this energy from the sexual chakras to the heart, crown chakra, to not make it accumulate into the sexual areas. Usually we do it to avoid ejaculation, to bring us away from the point of no return. So we do it not too many times, not too many circles, because we still like to keep some sexual energy that we can continue love But at the end, I will say, don't do just maybe five, four, six, seven. Do it maybe 20 times with your partner when you decide together, okay, darling, it's enough for today, I'm satisfied, beds are singing, let's catch some sleep. When you both decide to finish, you don't finish excited. We have tendency that we start making love very excited and we finish in tantric love making very excited if we don't lose this energy. This time, do use it, don't lose this method 20 times to bring all the sexual energy from the sexual chakras to the heart or to the crown, wherever you bring it. 
this will also help you to avoid pain in the testicle. Another thing what I want to mention about as a solution, that's why in Tantra you don't have only beginning rituals, but also you have closing rituals. When you do, for example, the heart salutation, you bring all the sexual energy to the heart, to the higher chakras. So in that way you also avoid this pain in the testicles. That's why also it is important uh, not only for play, but also after play to go maybe into intimate, more heart level, more intimate, just hugging each other, giving each other a nice time. Then it would be also bringing the energy. This too much energy would create this pain. It will bring it to the heart. So those are the solutions. Use it, don't lose it. Share love, stay connected, subscribe. Thank you very much for your attention. Aho!